A silicone single electron device controls each electron individually. This technology is considered a breakthrough in LSI, which is approaching their limit in terms of further improvements such as miniaturization and power consumption. For the currently available devices in which electrons are handled as waves and a total of approximately 100,000 electrons are used to send one bit of information, power consumption in the device increases proportionately with the progress of large-scale integration. For example, a typical present-day processor consumes 50 watts of power. A single electron device allows one bit of information to be sent by one electron and therefore requires only one one hundred thousandth of the power consumption of conventional devices, making ultimate power savings possible. Furthermore, because a nanoscale device is required to realize such power savings, the device size is also reduced to one ten thousandth. We at NTT have made improvements to integration technology based on the self-assembled structure of atoms known as the pattern-dependent oxidation process, while at the same time making use of a three-dimensional structure. This has resulted in the development of a new method of high integration known as the v paddux process. The thin silicone lines that have been patterned on the substrate by lithography are oxidized to create what is referred to as the tunnel barrier. In this way, a silicone island containing approximately 10 atoms on one side is formed. For the first time in the world, NTT has produced and verified prototypes of arithmetic circuits that incorporate this single electron transistor. In 2001, furthermore, NTT developed and succeeded in verifying a single electron CCD. More recently, NTT has taken full advantage of the capabilities of a single electron transistor to count and store electrons in order to develop a prototype of a multiple-valued memory circuit that operates according to the principles of multiple numeration systems. The effectiveness of this circuit has been confirmed through a performance test on a quantizer in which analog input values corresponded to the number of electrons on the island. Vacuum tubes, transistors, LSIs, all of these devices have led to innovation in information and communications equipment. Now, a single electron device is opening up a new horizon in the history of semiconductor devices.